Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So the new season just dropped, and we are taking a look at a Black Panther deck. Card is really cool. We'll go over it here super fast, but five cost, four power, on reveal, double this card's power. So it has some pretty great synergy with a bunch of different cards. Uh, but let's take a look at the, the kind of way we're building it today. So I'm doing this in, uh, this, this deck is called a Large Lads. We just have a lot of big stuff. You can actually see we have uh, five six cost things. Now that may seem a little ridiculous, uh, but we kind of build our deck in a way to help balance it out. So we'll go over our cards from low to high here. First off, Sunspot. Anytime you're playing a deck that is, uh, you know, has the risk of drawing all your big guys and not being able to play them, Sunspot's great because he gives us value for floating energy each turn, and it's just a very, very powerful card, especially in combination with things like Infinite, which want us to pass our final turn anyway, if or our second to last turn anyway, if we're trying to play the card from hand. Then Psylocke, so uh, basically with this one, we have three main cards here that are helping us ramp and giving us a way to cheat our bigger guys into play. Psylocke is one of them. On reveal, she gives another energy the next turn. So that's great to play her on turn four. So at turn five, we can play a six drop into another six drop. Or she's also really good at being able to cheat out Jubilee as early as turn three. It's pretty nice. Uh, then we have armor. We're obviously playing a lot of big stuff, so we want to be able to protect that from destroy effects like Shang-Chi. This is also nice because it does counter opponents' things that destroy stuff, so kind of a win-win for us as we're really not trying to destroy any of our own stuff with this deck. Storm. So Storm's been pretty good in this one. I will say, though, uh, if you're looking for kind of a flexible tech spot, I do think Storm is a reasonable one to swap stuff out for. I know Wong is really popular because he is very good with Black Panther right now, so you could consider Cosmo potentially in this slot, or just, you know, a general good tech card. Uh, definitely kind of makes sense here, uh, but Storm definitely not bad by any means, and being able to just kind of force lock down a lane that we can either, you know, make bigger later with things like our Doctor Doom or pumping up the Sunspot can be very good. Then Wave. Wave is our second main ramp card here. So you definitely got to be careful with how you use her sometimes, but being able to just play a big card uh, for, you know, four cost as early as turn four, a uh, really, really powerful effect. And uh, it, there's just not really too many other things like it. You know, if you are w missing Wave, you might be able to try another card. Like, uh, I think Electro is pretty good, but the, the ramp package is definitely a big part of why we're able to get away with having so many high cost cards then jubilee jubilee just a mainstay of any cheap big things into play deck she's just absolutely core and is a big reason why we're playing a deck like this she's basically our third main ramp piece then our solo five drop here of course we are trying out black panther and he's actually been pretty impressive in this deck uh, we don't have wong unfortunately maybe you could find room for him if you do have him uh, but trying to make this work without Wong and uh, he's still been very good, especially just with Odin and overall just decent power for cost um, Especially with some of the other locations that can get him buffed up a little bit higher So he's he's honestly pulled his weight in this deck and I've been pretty impressed uh, Then we do have a bunch of on reveal cards. So obviously we are going to have dr. Doom here Doom is also just very good with storm because sometimes you know you can make it look like you're losing a storm lane and then use Doom to kind of fill it up and take the opponent by surprise. Just a very powerful card, especially if you can cheat him out before turn six. Odin makes a lot of sense in any on reveal deck, and he is especially good with Black Panther because Black Panther will double, and then Odin gets him to double that number again. So kind of our, uh, our way of synergizing with Black Panther. Also very good synergy with other cards we have in the deck, most notably uh, Jubilee, but also... Uh, Dr. Doom. It's actually pretty nuts when we can go wave into Doom, into Black Panther, into Odin. I've done that a few times, and uh, it's a pretty hard curve to beat, if you can get it. Chavez, just another good big thing here. One of the big upsides for Chavez is we don't draw her until the final turn. So because of that, we're actually making it more consistent that we are getting the other cards we need, which is very important in a deck like this. 
So nice big payoff. Sometimes we play around six, but not usually. But just the, the deck thinning here and another big target for things like Jubilee to hit definitely warrants the inclusion. Giganto. Uh, this one, probably a flexible slot. You could probably put kind of any big drop you want in here. Giganto is, you know, one of the pool three ones I got, so I'm running with him. Uh, but, you know, you could probably run Magneto. You could probably run a bunch of other just just big things. You know, if you don't have him, you could run Hulk. Just something big. You, you want a decent critical mass of big stuff in this deck. And then last but not least, we have the Infinite. Just, you know, kind of the, the biggest thing around. Uh, natural synergy with sunspot lets us take a turn off to sunspot uh, and then just play him on the final turn which is pretty good and is obviously a very huge target for our main kind of cheat things into play mechanic with jubilee so that is the overview of the deck here i will have the code in the comments below we're going to get right on into the games before we do if you enjoy this type of content remember to like and subscribe there's a ton to help out the channel it keeps the videos coming Without further ado, let's get into the games. Uh, the early morning, because I'm sure a million people were on last night streaming the new season anyway. Do 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 do. Yeah, looks like there's still quite a few people on, which is cool. So we're going to armor the left here so they can't blow up their Nova. I'm really excited about this season, though. It uh, The card is cool. Um, I hope we're going to... We usually get a development update at the start of the season. So they'll probably give us some information about uh, what we can kind of expect in the near future. Probably, hopefully, they're going to talk about the Collector's Reserve stuff, which is uh, card targeting, essentially. So I think we go Wave, then we can go Doom into either Jubilee or Sunspot into Odin. Doom into Odin is really, really powerful. Just a ton of power. Also, I love this pixel art. I got this one in the season cache last season. Really like this one. I didn't have any Doctor Doom variants, so I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, I think this is the play. They're gonna have a hard time fighting for this lane, so we're gonna like try and guarantee this lane, and we're fighting for both of these lanes at the same time. So it should be pretty hard for them. So since we're gonna be playing Odin, and Odin's gonna give us more Doom bots, I'm just going to play Sunspot and pump the Sunspot. I'm gonna snap. Need to get back in the rhythm of snapping, because once you hit infinite, you can't fall below 100. So it gets really easy to uh, to get a bit more passive about your snapping if you're not like super invested in climbing. Eventually, they're going to add uh, like a proper leaderboard for infinite and whatnot. They've talked about it before. Yeah, I think this should be pretty. Pretty easy to win here. I don't think they can put up the power they need in both of these lanes. Shang-Chi, that doesn't do anything. Snapping time, yes sir, look at that. Four cubes in the bank. Victory. So this location was really good for us because cards with no abilities have plus three power and the Doom bots that get summoned, normally these are five, but since they have no text, they get the, the bonus, which is great. Ice man, okay. That's annoying. I only get an energy boost and I do not. And our hand is slow. 
least we have sunspot, but like, damn. That seems weird. Oh, we're gonna armor middle because we want to protect our sunspot. Honestly, I think our play here is we're going to pass this turn, throw the sunspot, we'll see what they do, then we can decide what we're doing next. Kazar, sure. It's a little awkward. I think I panther middle now. Here. All right, blocking me out of left is kind of annoying. We're just, we'll just slam Chavez. Ooh, or maybe it's better to just. How many cards do they have now? They have three. They're definitely playing a one cost centric deck. So they're probably going to throw a bunch of small guys down here. How much power will they gain? So if they'll gain three from Ant-Man, two from that. So that'll be five. That gets them up to 14. They'd need another five. Chavez, Chavez. And we win because we're ahead by more than they are. Yeah, you know, it's possible there are more cards that aren't listed here, but those are all the ones that have been, uh, been data mined so far. Ooh, on reveals happen twice. Well, they're going to get two, uh, what's it called? It's pretty good with Psylocke, though. Gonna armor this lane so they can't blow up their cheap guy. Angela. All right, so they're definitely going to play the, the one cost there, I think. Ongoing effects here are doubled. All right. All right, well, we have our pretty nutty curve again. Wave into Doom, into uh, Odin, into Panther, into Odin. Hey, Vessia. Yeah, Wave into Doom, into Panther, into Odin. Oh, We're snapping it. All right, leader's actually not that bad for us. Well, actually it might be. Hmm. No, it shouldn't be. We should be able to get ahead in the middle. We should be able to get ahead in the middle on the left. Already level eight, nice man, cruising. So they basically have a little, uh, a little starter pass as well. Wait, why would you carnage there, bro? What? I guess you need the board space, but uh, uh, this should lock it down. I'm pretty sure. 
puts 10 power in our middle and then another 5 on the right. Like, I'd be surprised if we didn't get it here. I guess if they have an Odin of their own. Now nah, they're out of here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yeah, that curve is nuts. Going armor, wave, doom, panther, Odin. That is just like, that's pretty brutal. Alright, bye Frost. That's fine. Yeah, I'm digging this deck so far though. I'm digging it. Raven usually likes playing the destroy decks, but he's probably playing Black Panther or something because I'm sure he's streaming. He's probably trying to use the new card. Does Wave help us here? Nah, I think I'm just gonna grow the Sunspot, because we have a curve. Jubilee into Panther into Doom. Show me the big boy. That's a big boy. And that's another one! <laughs> Long scary, but I'm not that scared. Back to the bot, Sag, yeah. You'll get out of there. Uh, I think when you hit level 20 or 30, it should be pretty much all real people. Devil Dino. Okay. A little scary. He's gonna play cards though. Pretty sure we just do this. Usually you don't see Dino in a long deck though. So I'm not really sure what he's up to. Maybe he's trying to do like a big Black Panther, but like you need to win another lane. What's it, Doom? Yeah, Doom doesn't do it. Let's go. Victory. They discard Wong, we discard Storm. It's probably better for us than it is for them. Do, 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 do. That is a very good one for us. That's a snap. So next turn we'll go to... We'll be at four. This will push to five. So if we Psylocke, we actually get to six. I guess we don't need to rush it out, though, because we... We're gonna rush out Doom, so we can wait like an extra turn and just pump the Sunspot. Because he's protected. Yeah, I'm just gonna pump him again. I mean, we could even go on the plan of just Sunspot, get really big into Infinite. Nice kill, Monger, bro. Oh, we could even just Infinite into something else, actually. That's pretty pog. Actually, you know what might be better? So that'll be 19. Black Panther will actually be more power with Odin. So I'm going to Black Panther here. We Odin next turn. I'll turn it to 16 plus 7. Which is more than... I guess it's equal to Infinite into Odin. 
think that's fine though. This is a little scary because if they have uh, if they have Odin here, then we lose. Oh man, this is a gamble. We're gonna take it though. Morph. Now nah, we win, dude. That's a W, boys. That could have been really bad, so Morph transforms into a card in our hand, so they giggle overrolled. They need- if they hit the, uh, if they hit the infinite there, we lost. If they hit Chavez, they still lost, so they had a 1 in 4 to win that game with Morph. Morph is a fun card, I don't think he's a very good card, though. But maybe when put, people are playing big things. That's sick, Black Panther got us there. Big boys. You could probably play this deck too without some of the pool three cards as well. You just need a big top end. Turn five, all cards must be played here. So I'm gonna storm here, and then we're gonna Jubilee. Because we still have a bunch of big boys in the deck. Wind, aid my hand. All right, so we have we have Doom, we have Infinite. Those are kind of our best hits. Also Chavez. So three out of five to hit get a good hit. Show me the Infinite! <laughs> the that is very poggers. Snapping them. And now we just go Black Panther into Odin, and that seals it. Yeah, let's go Barnes. Honestly, I love Jubilee. She's so much fun. She's unnerfed Barnes. Also, that artwork, though. Beautiful. So, the scariest thing they could do here is Adam Zola, or Aram Zola, or whatever the hell he's called, but that would give them a 16 in the right lane. 16 is not enough on its own. I guess if they get the hammer too, it is enough. How many cards are in their deck? Two? Ooh. Ooh. Is there any way we can play around? Well, if they play Aram Zola, they're giving up the left lane. So Chavez in the middle hedges. No, it doesn't because they still have 60 in the middle. So we can't afford to play around that. So we're just going to slam our old Odin and go. Oh, is it destroy? Victory. I didn't know the text on it was destroy, but I guess that makes sense. Cool, cool. All right, so we, we did very well with our armor in that lane then. I was talking to him about that deck yesterday, though, so I kind of knew what to play around. Deck's been really clean, though. I'm really liking it. Alright, Chavez isn't the worst thing to go away.
Oh, so it's different than the one you were, you were, uh, you sent to me? That's cool. Yeah, I just assumed it was the same deck. Um, hmm. I think we'll wave. They haven't had that much stuff destroyed yet, so they can't get, like, a free death out here. Pretty sure it's just Doctor Doom. Dino Quinjet, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought you were playing when I saw the Quinjet. I was like, oh, he's probably on Dino. This is kind of awkward. Um... I think the way we make it not awkward is we do this. Nice, Tom. Keep up the good work. Storm. Alright, Storm's actually not terrible for us. All right, we have a choice to make here, chat. Yeah, snap and turn one to scare you, yeah, assert that dominance. So they have to fight for both lanes here, uh, or they are, are going to think I'm gonna fight for this lane. My guess here is they're going to put more power into the, this lane because they're af not as afraid of losing this lane. Because they're only ahead by three here the biggest thing I could play in this lane is 8. Whereas the biggest thing I can play in the left lane is 14. I'm guessing they're not going to play much in the left lane. So I'm going to Giganto left. Yeah. Boom, dude. Read him like a goddamn book. We've had some good reads today. 